Hey Maker, if you use Canva or Canva Pro to edit your product photos and you want to learn how to properly resize your photos for Etsy using this software, then this video is for you. If this is your first time joining me, my name is Christina Nicole, and I am a product photography coach teaching makers like you how to take your own high quality product photos that actually attract more customers and make more sales for your product based business. If you don't know what resizing is, why it's important, or what the recommendation is for Etsy, I suggest watching my recent video, Resizing Images for Etsy 2023. You can grab a link in the description below this video. Now I'm going to take you inside of Canva and show you how to use my three step process to properly resize your product photos for Etsy. This is the homepage of Canva. Just a couple quick disclaimers here when it comes to Canva. Canva is not my first choice for editing product photos. It is great for creating graphics and doing different things as far as social media goes, but for photo editing, it doesn't function like most editing software would. It doesn't have a lot of pro features and you kind of have to work around resizing. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to properly resize your images for Etsy using the free version of Canva as well as Canva Pro if you are a paid member. So we're going to start off with how to resize your images for Etsy using Canva's free version. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into this right hand corner and click create a design and we're going to have to do a custom size. So in order to use Canva to actually resize your product photos, you have to know what those to pixel dimensions are supposed to be based on the aspect ratio that Etsy is going to recommend. So if we start with that four, three aspect ratio, then when we go to create a custom size, our pixel dimensions are going to be 2,667 by 2,000 pixels. And if you're going to upload your images as a 5-4 aspect ratio to Etsy, then you need to know that your pixel dimensions are going to be 2,500 by 2,000 pixels. So the first thing that we need to do is we actually need to create a custom size canvas. So we're going to go with the 4-3 aspect ratio that Etsy recommends. So our pixel dimensions are going to be 2,667 by 2,000. And then we're going to click create a design. So at this point, we already have an aspect ratio of 4-3 and we've already set our pixel dimensions to 2,667 by 2,000, which is meeting step one and step two of resizing properly for Etsy. Now, the next thing that we're going to have to do is we need to actually upload the image that we're going to be using. And we have to wait till this gets done working its magic and then we can bring the image into the canvas. Now this is what I pulled directly from my iPhone. So we do need to actually frame the image properly to do that inside of Canva. You're going to double click on the actual image. And this is essentially how we kind of do cropping inside of Canva. We're just going to pull the image and frame it the way that we think it looks good. If we need to back out, zoom out, we can do so. I need to be mindful and watch that over there while also working to frame the product properly. I'd like to keep a little bit of the trivet in there. So when using Canva, our steps are just a little out of order because as I mentioned, it doesn't necessarily function like typical editing software would. So initially we had to set those pixel dimensions to create the proper canvas. And then we uploaded our image, we brought it into the canvas and now we're having to double click on it and kind of zoom in to properly frame the photo the way that we want to. Now, my next step in editing this photo would actually be to rotate it a little bit to make sure that our lines are 
perfectly straight, but Canva does not allow that option. When we double click, we can, you know, enlarge it, we can make it bigger, but there's no option to actually rotate the image. So that is another reason that I don't necessarily recommend Canva to actually edit your product photos. You can click edit the image and there is the background removal. You can click in to adjust and you have some adjustments here as well. But a lot of the pro tools that I would use in different editing softwares, they just are not available inside of Canva. So at this point we have completed step one by setting the proper aspect ratio as well as resizing those pixel dimensions to meet Etsy's recommendations. Now all we have to do is save. So we're going to go to the share option in the top right hand corner. We're going to click that. We're going to click download and we're going to change this to a JPEG. Now at this point the only option we have available to us is the pixel dimensions that we set and the quality that Canva is going to allow us to do. So adjusting these pixel dimensions, resizing from this point forward, or reducing the quality or increasing the quality, those are all Canva Pro features. So at this point, all we can do is do an 80% quality at the pixel dimensions that we set. So we're going to download this. Now you'll see here that we have the original image on the left, the edited image on the right. This came directly from my iPhone. Uh, with a pixel dimension of 4032 by 3024 file size 1.9 megabytes so we went in we resized those pixel dimensions to 2667 by 2000 this is a 4-3 aspect ratio and that 80 percent quality dropped us down to a 373 kilobyte file size on disk that is fine it is on a little bit of the small side, but that still works. Okay, so this is how you resize your images for Etsy using the free version of Canva. Now, if you are a Canva Pro member, you have a little bit more features when it comes to how you can actually resize your product photos. So we're actually gonna start this process a little different. We're gonna go to create a design and we're actually gonna edit a photo. Okay, that's gonna take us in. We're gonna grab the original photo here and we're gonna click use in a design. Okay, so this automatically brings the image up. The first thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna to go to resize up here in the left-hand menu. This is a Canva Pro feature, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're going to type in those pixel dimensions to resize this properly. Again, Canva functions a little different than most editing softwares. So we actually are going to combine step one and step two in this process, meaning we have to already know what the pixel dimensions are for that 4-3 or that 5-4 aspect ratio. We're gonna go with a 4-3, which is gonna be 2,667 pixels by 2000 pixels and we're going to copy and resize now when we do that you'll see that it's the same image it's just the pixel dimensions have have changed so we need to double click and we need to go in and we need to actually properly frame this photo the way that we want it to appear now again we don't have the option of rotating and doing any type of fancy edits to this like other softwares would provide very very basic when it comes to photo editing inside of canva okay now we do have more features though with canva pro so let's go into the share option in the top right hand corner we're going to select download and we're going to select jpeg now the pixel dimensions we've already set to meet those etsy recommendations so we're going to leave that at a one because they're 2667 by 2000 pixels but we are going to bump this quality up to about a 90. Now remember the free version of Canva only allowed us to do an 80% quality. So I already showed you the metadata on those results. So let's check out 90%. So now if you take a look at the image on the left, this is our original image from the iPhone 13. It has a pixel dimensions of 4032 by 3024 with a file size of 1.9 megabytes. 
So we went into Canva, we resized this based on a 4-3 aspect ratio to pixel dimensions of 2,667 by 2,000. And saving as a 90% quality, this brought our file size to 614 kilobytes, which is a great file size. I typically recommend between 500 and 700 for Etsy but just work to make sure that it's not below 300 and not over one megabyte. If you have any additional questions on how to use the free version of Canva or Canva Pro to resize your product photos for Etsy, please drop them into the comments below this video. Please take the time to like this video if you found it useful and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you wanna learn more about taking your own high quality product photos. See you next time.